You can pause any time now. Why is this locked on now? I hope it doesn't stop mid-stream. Seems to be working, but for some reason I can't stop it. Super strange. Okay, resume. I walk with you. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Alright, now before that starts, I want to make sure this is recording. I, I can't tell. Like, it says it's recording, but I can't stop it either. Uh, this is 14, it's 14. I don't see a 14. Uh... Five eleven. That's where it's supposed to be going. Video. I put. Hmm. So hopefully it's recording, and this won't be for nothing. I know it's streaming, but I don't know if it's recording or not. I've actually had a lot of issues with... Honey! I'm home! Back here, sweetie! How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen! You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. No, I want coffee. Forgot to get some water. Okay, now it dropped to 45 frames a second. Kind of makes sense because it's recording. Was it 60 before? What's my frame rate look like? Because if it's too low, I'm gonna have to adjust it. Uh. Oh, there you are. I wonder where you went to. Dream Labs. Let's see what it says. Remote control. Wait, does it show my frame rate? No. Well then. Okay. See? I can't even toggle record because it's automatically doing it. I guess because I'm alive. Uh, I can't tell if it's recording or not recording because it's apparently stuck on while I'm live. Hopefully it's working. Coffee's on! Great, thanks! I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. 
That's not how you make coffee. You have to put the coffee in the machine first. And also water. Okay, well. Hey, are you watching the stream? Doesn't say there's any lagged frames, so it should be good. Is there anything else I can do in here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. I can go to the bathroom. Hills. I'm taking medication. Radio. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard. The weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Hmm. Pretty sure last time I played, there was an alert about gunshots. And things happening at the place I was shooting people up. is a three button mouse. Oh. An unusual looking mouse. Doesn't have a scroll wheel unless it has two scroll wheels, which I doubt. Three buttons but no scroll. There we go. What am I examining? It says examine, pick up manuscript. Uh, what did I just pick up? Rusty dying. Wait, which? Yeah, it's right after I fight the Taken. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan? What? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Huh. How many books does he have? Where's the fuse box? Not in here. I really don't like this, Alan. Please hurry. Wait, she's afraid of the dark. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. So she's the one that's afraid of the dark. Maybe that beats his paranoia. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. 
Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? Oh, shoot. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Hmm. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water. This closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Sound is weird. Like sometimes it'll play in the right ear, but not always. I don't know if my headphones messing up or what? Thank you for testing no, the lights, I can still hear myself. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being completely deaf and wet. The bulbs will need changing, so you can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Mm-hmm. Wait, read. What can I read? Camping trip overdue. Haven't been in contact. If you've seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-99232. Jacob Miller, Bruce, and Richard Ball. Hmm. I wonder if those are the people I killed. Knack for winning contests. How is that an identifying feature? Okay, there's got to be something else in here. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Good. Cool. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Oh, shoot. Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wake, can Don't I help do nothing, you with anything? stupid pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. 
Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. Oh, no such I'm luck. at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Like wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the Bray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. Oh, not good. Alice looked in the mm. viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Unread. There's nothing unread. at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. You wanna know who it really was? I can tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounded like some thing that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. And I told him The unread. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, Go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? No point in getting all worked up yet. <laughs> the caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. I don't care about that. I'm looking around right now. Oh, that must be the car. Sam in the junk. What the heck? 
kind of weird artifact. Yeah, I know it's there. Oh. Well then. Uh. Ooh. There's a manuscript page. Erg. Alice's fear of the dark. Wait, here's a chainsaw, Barry and Elderwood. Hmm. The chainsaw's next. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy! Hey! Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Oh, shit. What the hell Just was that about, guy. Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! 
Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. to Charlie. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <sighs> Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Okay, boy. We're Al, almost you done can't here. just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing... It... Listen. You hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Shh. Watch it. No. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, Watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know. I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit, period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay, okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh.
That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This thing's so not worth a 15% commission. Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. I'll just sit here in the dark till you come back. Or until I get eaten by a Gru. That's a Gru. Batteries. I didn't realize we were back in the third grade here. Trying to switch it. Well, it's not even a well, it's just decorative. Where is it? Yeah, it's just decorative. Okay. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. I'll oh yeah, forget it recharges. You, I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Locking the door now. <laughs> Locking the door now. Now, this is actually an achievement if you go all the way to the radio tower without using your car. I'm gonna see if I can get that. What? Back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. <laughs> no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? 
<laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. That's not what I meant to do. Can you stop? Why can't I get over this fence? That's stupid. Oh, what? It's a dead end. That's not cool. Maybe I can go up this rock. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Is this the cabin I just came from? No. Really? Breaking and entering? Why? Was the Twilight Zone? Yep. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode. to kill that guy, huh? Why? Is it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay. So you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. Well, 
all shit. Here. Just that. Wait, why doesn't he examine the blood? What the heck is that noise? Birds, of course. Not a new one. <clears throat> In this car. Another page. on that page i found came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office i have the key okay rusty hang on i'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened Oh, I think it's all messed up. Can't open this and heal it. At least do something. A presence so dark, like the forest at, at night. Woke up. Where did he find the piece, the manuscript? I know it will. It hasn't finished with me yet. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty. 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 The ground was covered in the darkness. I just need to untie my senses. Sized hole in the wall. Fish. 
fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Really? At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never approach. Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other world closer than 45 yards. Pets must be leashed. Never leave your pet unattended. It is against the law. doing What happened to the dog, though? Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Right past it.
Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. This way. Weird that I've got all this shotgun ammo before and then disappeared. I don't remember using the shotgun at all. Somehow the ammo is gone. Did the cops take it? Oh, there's another one. You guys are mean. That is annoying. Hey. Oh. Wasn't there another manuscript over here? on the other side. First peak is that way, so I'm going this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to get attacked. Nothing new. Taking their time. Oh, this part. Yeah, this is the part I hated. Last time I didn't have any ammo. Nice. Health 
by lightning. Ow. Extra careful. Oh, that's why. Shoot, this is the part where they have three of them coming. No! I'm trying not to die here. You, Farka. Dang it. Oh, it's hard to avoid them. If I run this way, though, I get swarmed by six of them. Because more come from the trees. while I'm in here. Rude. Oh boy. Two of them. It means there's probably three. They don't always show you all of them. Nope. Wait, which way am I going? This way? Shit. That's not good. What is that? Sure. A red shirt? I mean a white shirt with a red... Like from the story. Wait, which way was I going? That way, right? Yeah. Got lost for a second. There they are. Okay, so I have no ammo here, just enough ammo here to take them out. Shit. Yeah, I would, but the light is past them, so I'd have to run through them. What I'll have to do, I guess. One of them 
ran behind here. Ow. This way. There's four of them. I wonder I keep dying. Okay. Page there, though. <laughs> Checkpoint. Cure. Going back this way. dark. Badass. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. <laughs> oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment. But then, I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. The kidnapper? Come on, Wake! You better keep up! You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake! Wait. I don't have to shoot. Just have to aim at them. I think it saves me ammo, but I don't have any ammo. At least I can explore when I not have to worry about these guys. Shit.
Really? stairs wake use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off give me the gun <laughs> yeah no can do wake are you kidding give me the gun no time for back talk hold them off damn it uh Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Yeah, man. This is it, Wake. Our last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Where did that come from? God dang it. Stan, there's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Wait, I can destroy the... Wow, okay. Even their projectiles can be destroyed by the light. I didn't know that.
Really? Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. <laughs> <laughs> because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Let's take out the gun. Also some players. Can I pick that up? No, if I go in it, I'll just get freaking caught. Anything on these rocks? Nope. Secrets. <sighs> I know if I touch any of these things, they'll be on me like that. Just waiting. All along the trail. It's so strange. If they want to catch people. It can't just be for me, right? waiting to fall into the water. Yep. Ow. There. 
right up there. Uh. Is that a page right there? Now a chest. I just have to figure out a way up there. Ah, I see. Maybe. Can I? Nope. I knew that was too good to be true. Huh. So I know I can't go that way. It says I need to go this way. So... Over here... And that way. Towards the cabin. Not a secret, at least. Me going off course wasn't a total loss. The heck? Man, they got totally turned around. Like you with Ed. Have to manage your stamina. Or then you can frickin' upgrade stuff. In this game, you're just stuck. You can't even see your ha stamina bar in this. chest. No. That's unfortunate. Alright. Let's head this way. I'm hoping I'll find an extra piece of the manuscript here.
Hey. Oh. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Batteries for me. Shotgun chills. Oh no, hunting bear. Oh. What happened to the shotgun? Bad. Sadly, no manuscript. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, where is everyone? I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old. Obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Oh. I saw those playing. Uh. What the heck was that? Oh no 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 no! Come again. All right. Where to? I gotta get over here somewhere. I keep this quick. Nope. Okay, that way. No, 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 no. You need to die now. Nice shot. Wrong gun. with this thermos. Okay. Oh crap! What? He knocked me off into the water. That's just mean. I just wanted some coffee.
Oh boy. Okay, gotta grab the thermos. And then I'm getting out of here. No. Forget you guys. seem to drop anything. I'd like to get some ammo at least. Somebody's gotta have some ammo. What is that? Why is the darkness so strong? Because I'm going off course. Doesn't seem to like me going off course. No. Okay, I'm running. I'm not wasting any ammo on that. Too close. Oh crap, maybe that was a bad choice. Eat it. Uh, can I kick this? Looks like there's something in there. Can I shoot it? Not good. Run! Good. Wait, I wonder if I can go back and... Oh. I definitely can't go back now. I was wondering if I could get the inside of that. No, this is the inside. Ow! I have to clean up this dude? An ink machine. Alan Wake did it first. Actually, there's been quite a few games that have blobs of goo that you have to destroy. Pages that I haven't read yet. Yep. Harry meets Rose. Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women. Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. <laughs> okay. Nightingale fires at we. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Mm hmm. There's stuff that I've missed. I need to replay this chapter. Oh. 
That's nothing new. Fall on my head, please. That would be nice. Uh, boy. This whole place is just falling down around me. Wait, what? I'm trying to read that. The darkness wears her face. Wait, whose face? His girlfriend's? Here's his girlfriend's face. Get up. Once this chapter ends, I need to check something, so I'm going to pause the stream. And I'll resume it after that. I want to get to the end of the chapter first. Ow. Oh. Dumb. Didn't see it. Alright, ammo, that's... Okay, gotta go that way, so okay, go this way. Check this out first. Uh... Maybe I am supposed to go that way. Wait. This guy's there. Dead end. Really? Back here? Dang, he's dead. No! Pretty good strong gun. Alright, can I get this again or did I already get it? I gotta get it get again. Get it again! And again. And again. No, I plan, don't plan to die that much. The only reason I died last time is because... Stupid Harry was a dead end.
Can you stop walking like that? It's really weird. to tackle me. Wait. Take point. I hope so. Logging is a hazardous occupation. I bet it is. You gonna show me the right way to do it? Do this. Very nice. Whew, I've gotten much better at this game. I don't remember the first time I played it, it was a pain. Sad that I'm still missing some manuscript pages, though. Most of them. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What the crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Uh, what about the generator? Generator's outside, unprotected. Didn't think of that, did you? I still had to reach Barry at the cab, but at least I was out of the woods. <laughs> nice joke. Uh, no. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Or I can just walk. Kidding me? Can't leave without the car. I had.
had to find the key to the garage. is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Uh... Maybe just burnt out. Oh, frick. Get away from me, birds. Enter the vehicle. Or. See if I can go through here now. Because I know there's an achievement for not driving at a certain spot. Is it here? I actually don't think it's here. I think it's at the radio tower. Move this. Once again, that means I can jump over it. No, I can't. Uh. Yeah, I don't see any other way. Alright. Keep moving. Pages back here. Slightly damaged, but I should be okay. Nice. I'm already smoking. Speaking of smoking, someone's smoking downstairs. I need to go check on that. I don't need the house burning down. I should have returned.
Everything is fine. No fire. Everyone's okay. It's not anything serious. Yes, good. Uh, I can drive. Yay, the park. Let's go check where he was. There's a manuscript over here. story with the, the thermos is either. I don't think I've collected all the thermoses. Oh, there's a manuscript. It's this one. It's probably... Is it new? Yes. Ooh! Okay. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Well, that sucks. Rusty. Anything else in here? Nope. Just the power. Am I supposed to fight something else here? Alright, so... I had to return to Barry. I can't use this car, clearly. I need a car to get through here. Can I even get through here? Hmm. Ah. A thermos and a car. How convenient. Now if there's just a page in here, that would be amazing. Nope, just boots. Useless, useless boots. Alrighty. Let me in. Okay, well I can't use that car. For whatever reason it's off limits. Thing. Oh, 
Something's still on. Something terrible here. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yeah. But I'm not using it right now. Oh crap, maybe I am. Not dead yet. I know. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? How many are there? Shit. That's annoying. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. If there's another ma Oh no, there's no manuscript. That sucks. Okay. Wait. Weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Nope. Uh, why don't I just fire the light? Why did I fire? Okay, I have a flare gun, and there's a area right here. So, what I'm gonna do is go here. Oh. Ow! You guys suck. What the heck? Well, this is just the place I was here. Oh. All of you die. Thank you. Goodbye. No. What the hell just hit me? I guess they just don't stop coming. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Almost there. <laughs> I 
turn the lights off? Anything? Nope. I was hoping if I turned the lights off, I would see something. Get your flashlight can reveal stuff. Fucking birds everywhere. Here. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Hey, Barry from the birds. There. Car. No car. No car for me. How sad. I would totally love to run birds over with a car. Wait, what? The darkness controls the Taken. Okay. So the darkness wears her face, and the darkness controls the Taken. Go ahead. Nope. Ow. I think I'm in? No, I can't. Okay. I'm stuck out here with the birds. by a bunch of birds. That sucks. I like that fix the equipment thing. Remembered exactly where I was. They bunch up. Oh, stop.